video, we are going to discuss one pediatric MCQ from our question bank and highlighting the very important and, you know, very helpful features, which have new feature, which you've got in the question bank for pediatrics and for all the other subjects. So what we have here is a baby born at 30 weeks, okay, 30 weeks gestation with respiratory distress due to prolonged labor, okay. So there is some respiratory distress in this preterm baby who was admitted in an ICU immediately after the delivery. The baby was started on bag and mask ventilation and after the JR in an ICU was informed about the prenatal assessment of mother, what condition was reported that the doctor immediately stopped the bag and mask ventilation. So this appears to be a somewhat, you know, confusing case scenario, but you know, you have to sieve out the important information from the question. So this preterm baby had respiratory distress uh, requiring NICU admission immediately. Baby was started on bag and mask ventilation, but there is some condition that has been antenatally diagnosed, probably in which the bag and mask ventilation is contraindicated and that is why it was stopped immediately. So what is the one and only absolute contraindication to bag and mask ventilation in a neonate? We all know friends, it is congenital diaphragmatic hernia. So see, congenital diaphragmatic hernia is the best answer to this question. And it is not cleft lip, not cleft palate and not umbilical hernia. Now let us see what explanation is provided for this uh, question in our new Q-Bank. So first you're provided with the correct answer, which is the option C here congenital diaphragmatic hernia and we know it occurs when the diaphragm fails to close during the prenatal development and bag and mask ventilation is contraindicated in congenital diaphragmatic hernia and it is one of the conditions which can be diagnosed on an antenatal ultrasound if it is if the defect is big enough. Now you also have you know the another new feature of the QBank is you have explanation about each and every option so that you know you don't have any difficulty in you know uh, coming to your best answer and you are getting additional information which will help you questions related to this topic other questions related to this topic to be solved easily so cleft lip you have information about it you know what is cleft lip a slit opening between the two sides of the upper lip and it is not a contraindication to bag and mask ventilation cleft palate is again a slit or opening in the roof of the mouth and it occurs due to the faulty development in the womb and again it is not a contraindication to bag and mask ventilation and umbilical hernia you know is a defect when intestine protrudes through the abdominal muscles near the umbilicus okay and again none of these three conditions are contraindicated to bag and mask ventilation. Now it has also been mentioned some learning objectives of this question that means what exactly is the purpose of this question and what points you should remember to solve similar questions that come from this topic that is also mentioned at the end of each and every question. For example through this question the related topics which can be asked which are your learning objectives are initiation of positive pressure ventilation is the single most important step in neonatal resuscitation this itself is an mcq so which is the single most important step in neonatal resuscitation it is the initiation of ventilation or bag and mask ventilation or positive pressure ventilation okay ppv in neonatal resuscitation we know is done using a self inflating bag and a mask which is also called ambu bag Absolute contraindication to bag and mask ventilation we mentioned is congenital diaphragmatic hernia. And why bag and mask ventilation is contraindicated in congenital diaphragmatic hernia? So we all know if you're doing a bag and mask ventilation, then you know the mask that you're using is covering both the mouth and nose of the baby. So the air that you're giving or the oxygen that you're giving is entering both through the nose, through the trachea, as well as from the mouth to the esophagus. So the air that is going in the trachea is fine, but the air that is going in the esophagus is going to the stomach and the bowel loops. And you know, here in CDH, the bowel loops have herniated to thorax. So these bowel loops get further distended and lungs further do not get space to expand. So the respiratory distress of the baby, instead of improving, can worsen in congenital diaphragmatic hernia, right? So that is also mentioned in the explanation to this question. You can see this is because CDH, the air goes into the esophagus, stomach and intestine if you're doing bag and mask ventilation and the bowel expands and the lungs are compressed leading to respiratory compromise. So friends, these are some very important user-friendly features in the brand new question bank, which I'm sure are definitely going to help you. So all the very best and happy learning.